Oh, I'm wiped out. Can't wait to get on that plane. I suppose Eddie and I are lucky. Must be hard for you living on that estate. Armies of young mums with eczema and push chairs and the men with that many tattoos and arms that like lumps of stilton. Ooh, you're scared to pop me in round the door. Well, we don't go out much. Ron prefers an early night. <laughs> Ooh, them's nice panties, Mrs L. Mm, thank you, Iris. Eddie got me them in Paris. Of course, I won't get expensive breeds. <laughs> you should treat yourself from time to time. Just to get through that many pairs. Ron pulling at them with his big fingers. <laughs> Really? Have you packed Eddie's toilet bag? I've given up wearing anything in bed. There's no point with Ron's libido the way it is. He's like a lad of 19 sometimes. Fancy. And I hope you buttoned his shirts before you packed them. Five, six times a night in the mornings. It's all when Eddie and I were first married. Oh, it's always been like that for us. Like a couple of young kids in love. Just gets better and better. He has me doing things that would make a whore blush. Well, then he'll sometimes wear nothing but his bathing trunks. This way, that way, some of it barely legal. I'm lying there thinking, will this pleasure never end? <laughs> That'll be Barbara. I have to check in at the airport. Did I tell you we're flying club class? And that doesn't make you get a free chocolate biscuit. <laughs> Have a nice afternoon here, Iris. I'll see you in a fortnight. Bye! Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I wouldn't leave him any options. 